So I'm a big fan of getting the post-operative report for all your patients that just had a surgery, okay? Uh, you'd be really surprised sometimes if folks don't really know the type of surgery they've had, and they certainly aren't going to know the nuances are going to be really important from a rehab perspective. So just going through the post-op report for this patient, he had a large cam deformity. Uh, the doc didn't note how big that is. Oftentimes, they'll talk about the alpha, an excuse me, alpha angle, and they'll also talk about how much the, uh, the excuse me, alpha angle was reduced after surgery, but there was none of that within this note. I don't think we needed to know that. He just said that it was a quite sizable, in quotations, cam lesion, right? And in terms of the actual labral repair, he used one anchor, and it was an anterior inferior tear, and he said it was an excellent repair, okay? Uh, he also noted there was a partial labrectomy of the lateral labrum, so a little additional injury to the lateral portion of the labrum, not enough to repair it. They just trimmed off some of that tissue, right? Uh, this is important because if, if the surgeon is saying there was an excellent repair, that's a good sign. The tissue quality was probably pretty good. It was a type of labral tear that was easily repaired. And then when the uh, surgeon repaired it, he was happy with the way it went. Okay. And all that's good as a sign moving forward. So if you have multiple anchors, right, or the repair wasn't quite as good noted by the surgeon, and oftentimes you might have to go a little slower with your rehab, right? The other uh, part was very important is that there's no microfracture with this surgery, okay? Now, in folks that have FAI and potential labral pathology, oftentimes have cartilage damage to go along with it, okay? Now, there was a bit of cartilage damage in the MRI earlier on with this patient, However, the doctor didn't feel like it was a big deal, and they did not have to do a microfracture surgery. And if you don't know what a microfracture surgery is, in the hip labral repair, if they notice there's enough cartilage damage and they want to try to repair some of that cartilage, they'll poke a few holes in the bone, right? The bone will bleed, and that actually forms some new cartilage. Uh, the reason why this is important is because if you have a microfracture procedure, you're going to be non-weight bearing for a longer period of time after surgery. That just delays everything, sometimes up to four to six weeks difference from a person that has a microfracture to not having a microfracture. Okay. So, no microfracture in this case, rehab's gonna be a little faster. So, here's what I want you to do next, guys. If you enjoyed this video so far, I have an entire course. It's free. It's called the Fitness Pain Free Mini Course. And we go over three lessons that can help you take a lot of this information that we went over so far and put it into practice. The first lecture is called Why We Need a Better System. So first and foremost, the way we treat fitness individuals, all right, athletic people in the gym from a physical therapy perspective is pretty much broke, okay? So we need a better system to serve the folks that are in the gym, that get hurt, they want to get back to training, all right? Lecture number two is called Seven Reasons Why People Get Hurt in the Gym. And essentially, we have to know the reasons why people get hurt in the gym so we can keep them safe in the future, right? And when they get hurt, we have to know why and how to get them back to training in the gym. Okay. So a thorough understanding of this is very, very important. I actually have a really cool infographic that goes along with this lecture that you get for free as well. And lastly, we go over a case study of how to get someone out of pain and back to training. So these principles are all phenomenal, but we don't actually put it together and you don't understand how to create a program to get people back in the gym and keep them safe for the long term, then we lose, right? So I'll put a link in the show notes for this. It's a fitness pain-free mini course. Definitely check this out.